Hey everyone, this is Yami, the Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. I am back with more DIYs for your Christmas season. And this one is a little bit of farmhouse inspired. So if you want to check it out, please keep watching. All right, for this project, you're gonna need one black felt sheet that you can get at your local Hobby Lobby for 25 cents when they go on sale. These cute little wooden dowels that I got from Dollar Tree, and you guys know I love dowels, so I had another one that was a quarter of an inch that I already had on hand from another project, and that's what you'll need for this project. Now you will end up using all of the dowels in that package, but they were a little bit too long, so I had to put them all together and figure out how much I wanted to take off. I ended up taking two and a quarter inches off each of the dowels. And in order to cut these dowels, I used my mini miter box saw kit. It is so cute, you guys. But you guys know I love dowels, so this actually comes really in handy for me. And um, it takes a little while to get used to, obviously, because it is a little bit smaller, but it works just as good as my bigger one, but for smaller dowels. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box below to this exact one. Then I cut out small rectangles from that black felt, and I started wrapping each of the dowels with that black felt using my hot glue gun. And then when all the little dowels were covered with a black felt, I started hot gluing them onto each other side by side. Okay, so then it was time to build the frame and I used the quarter inch square dowel to do this. I cut two of the pieces in five inches and the other two pieces in four and a quarter inches to fit around. And I basically just assembled it like I did my little wooden farmhouse sign ornaments. Now you can choose to stain the dowel if you want, but I personally thought it was fine just the way it was. And then I just covered the back of the little sign with some leftover poster board that I had on hand. Then I just added some ribbon to the back in order to hang the ornament. Then I had some buffalo check ribbon left over from my little Christmas trees that I made and I decided to make a little bow and add it to the front. And then you just add your little letter board letters. Now, just a word of caution on this. After I made the ornament, obviously, I noticed that since this doesn't have the type of pressure between the little felt little dowels like you would on a real letter board, the letters won't stay as good on there. So I have two suggestions. You can actually glue the days till Christmas part onto the letter board and then just switch out the numbers. Or you can use the popsicle sticks instead of the little round dowels that they sell at Dollar Tree. And what I would do is I would actually glue two popsicle sticks together and then wrap the felt around it. Since it's flat and not round, the space between each one of the little black sections will be a little tighter and not as loose. So it will actually hold the letters better. Now, you don't have to make this a countdown ornament. You can actually make all the letters permanent. You can just create little letter board sign ornaments for your Christmas tree and just make it say Merry and Bright, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Ho, Ho, Ho. You know, just go crazy with it and just glue the letters on and make them permanent. I'll make sure to link to some letters below as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this little ornament, please make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, adios.